smile on your face. Steve, how was that today? Well, it's a bit cooler out here, that's for sure. I've just been in a few sweat boxes. Yeah, obviously, I think there was two things today, Colin. There was, um, there was the football match and there was the, uh, the occasion of, of being back, at, uh, back in the Premier League at the City ground. I think, um, and you'll articulate it better than me, mate, but I think that, uh, I think that everybody was looking forward to, to today. So the fact that we played the way we did and we won is really, really important. And like I said, I'm sure you'll explain that, um, the why of that better than me. And, um, and in terms of the football match, um, just, uh, just really happy with the first half performance particularly. I thought we took the game to, to, to West Ham. I thought we were much the better team. I thought we looked like the team that was going to take the lead. They had a couple of moments on breakaway and against the run of play, um, which, OK, they're a really good team. You saw what they did last year and the players and talent that they have in the group. So for us to, um, to play like we did first half was, um, was really pleasing for me as, as the, the coach and the coaching because um, it was with our, our way, it was with our idea. You're probably looking at it thinking we saw a lot of that stuff last year. And that's what we want to do. Obviously, there's a lot of new players and stuff like that, but the ideas won't change. So to have the belief and the confidence to play like we did first half was brilliant. And then to show the heart and soul of the second half, while having a good couple of chances on set pieces, um, it was a performance with, with everything in it. Yeah, a game with everything in it as well. I mean, the VAR decisions. Mm. And I, I don't know what you think of VAR. Maybe now is not not the time to ask you yeah. um, in, in the in the aftermath of a game. But uh, the Dean Henderson penalty save that's a crucial, crucial moment yeah, in the yeah. game. Yeah, and the Scott McKenna save as well was was important. Um, I think um, I was disappointed that um, the referee didn't blow for the for the foul. It was clear. I think everyone in the stadium seen it was a clear foul. So I I wasn't worried that that wasn't going to get overturned because. Um, it was a really poor decision that he didn't see it in real time, and I guess you know we saw the effect of VAR and why it's in, in place. I, I, I believe it was um, a penalty, and we have no qualms with that. And um, maybe could have been a foul in the build-up on, on Nico. Um, I haven't seen that back, but um, but yeah, Dean's obviously played right up there with the best performances today, and a penalty save is always a good one. Yeah, it almost seemed to to kind of add to the drama. I know there was huge disappointment after mm. what everybody thought was your second goal and that one gets ruled out, but it kind of always felt as if that one might get yeah, ruled out. I forgot about that one, actually, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, yeah, it's new for us a little bit, isn't it? You know, VAR, and uh, we're here and thinking, OK, I mean, the second goal, I didn't sort of, like, celebrate, if you like, because I just had a feeling it might have been it might have been off and it obviously was, but... Uh, um, yeah, like listen, this is something we're going to have to get used to now, and we'll be the benefactors of it sometimes, and and other times it will go go against us, and um, that's just how it's going to be. So, um, yeah, you know, action-packed game, but uh, but one we definitely deserve to win. And I just want to say, I'd like to locally, you know, de well, not locally, but you know, uh, dedicate the 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 win to the supporters who couldn't get a ticket today, because I know that we could have quadrupled, if not more, the amount of people that would have come and watched this match today, and. Don't think that we haven't thought about that, um, you know, this this uh, this week. I mean, I talked to the players before the game about how important today was to three sort of generations of, of supporters, and um, and you know, there, there's lots of them people that couldn't be here today and would have loved to have been here, and uh, that's who we are. You know, we're not just representing the people in the stadium; we're representing the wider the wider supporters as well. So that that's one for everybody, the supporters, but um, a special mention for the ones who who couldn't get in the stadium today. Yeah, I'm sure they were all cheering just as loud. Mm. Tyro Wan, you said in the interview we did with him just a few minutes ago that the fans helped you get over the line today, helped you to, to mm. win the game. And, and that says something, doesn't it? He's clearly taken by them when he's, it's his first game here at the City Ground. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And they did. You know, I thought like uh, I thought the, the, the supporters were as they are. <laughs> you know, we know that. And uh, uh, extra special today because of the first game we've reintroduced Forest on the world stage of the Premier League, that iconic image of a game with that stand behind it. And, um, um, you know, we're, we're just so happy that it was a positive day because um, the club deserves it. And to get the continuity, Steve, just finally, the, the continuity really from last season. I mean, this, I know the step up in, in quality is, is a vast gulf, but this felt like what you were doing last season in, in home games here in the Championship. Yeah. So with all the new faces to come in, to, to get that kind of spirit and passion and the kind of football you're playing already, that's some achievement, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's only one game, Carl. We didn't play very well last week, as you know. But what, what's important is that we've had two games now, both home and away, a win and a loss. And we've, um, there's so much to learn from both. And like, if you look at like last week, 
how we've now recovered from a disappointment of losing a game and not really play into our, our level. Well, we didn't, did we? With, certainly with the ball. It's, it's a good sign that we can go and play the next game in the fashion that we did. What we've got to show this week now is we draw a la line under it, learn from it, look at it properly, and then whatever's happened, f sort of just forget about the highs and lows of the last two games and get ready for the next one. So, um, but in terms of the, the new personnel and things like that, um, we know that we had no choice. It was a, um, you know, to, to change the squad around. Um, but the ideas don't change in terms of how we want to play and how we want to work and the culture we want to have. It's just a few new faces in there. And, um, you know, that's, that's, how we, that's how we've planned from the start and that's how we mean to go on. Well done today, Steve. You Thanks too. for the interview. Thank you. See you later.